Bimu Wish. Two of the cheapest online stores you could possibly shop at at the moment, and both of these have outstandingly cheap barber kits, but whose is the best? And most importantly, what if we only had a budget of $100? I did find the best freaking clipper on here with 10,000 RPMs, which is extremely powerful. It's 4904 discounted from $119. Okay, so we just added that into the card. Let's go on to our trimmer now. Seriously, exactly just like a Slimline Pro. I'm not too sure how accurate it is like within the whole blade and all that, but it looks fairly similar to Slimline. I think it's very, very good, especially for the price itself. $21.59, 61% off. We're adding this into the cart. Found a shaver for $11.54. This is the Kame all black version. Kame does a pretty good job of replicating some clippers and trimmers and whatnot. The reason I'm buying it is because it's the cheapest that I could find on here. Let's put this into the cart. Accessories. First accessory I found is our one piece straight edge razor barber holder. Now next up, of course, you need your blades. So 89 cents for a pack of how many blades? I don't even know. It doesn't say how many blades on here, but you will get a whole pack of Darko blades. Now I'm not too sure if these are actually real Darko blades. I use these every day. I'm not too sure if they're the real ones for 89 cents. This might be a steal. Let's add that a cart. All right, next up, I told you guys the accessories are extremely cheap on here. We got the portable spray bottle, clear, empty. I'm not gonna read the whole title, it's so long, but it's 148 for this spray bottle and it looks freaking unique. Again, it's black. It's gonna go with our whole theme. So I'm adding this into the cart. For the next accessory, we have the five piece hairdresser clips, hair styling. We've got to get that hair up before actually getting into the fade. So 179 for these five clips. Not bad at all. I usually get these for like $10 on Amazon. Add to cart. Last but not least, I have this two piece hairdressing scissor for $11.48. We are at $100.50. I'm gonna let that pass. I'm gonna let the 50 cents pass. Guys, come on. If we have $100, we definitely have 50 cents. If not, we just go nitpicking for pennies out in the streets and gather 50 cents. Okay, so I'm on Wish and I actually found our clipper for today. VGR has a little LED display down below, which is pretty cool because it's like jet black or navy or whatever. Paper lever and professional blades. So let's add that in the cart. Okay, since I'm already going with a VGR, that's what it's called, VGR clipper. Why not go with the VGR trimmer? It's pretty cool and I will say it looks like a very good trimmer. Let's go with this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to be going with, this is no joke, I'm actually going to put this 199 shaver into our cart. I'm not putting the Wish barber kit aside and letting the Timu win. I'm gonna get probably more accessories with the Wish one. Need a cape. I don't think this specific clipper comes with a cape, so I'm gonna have to add one from the from the website itself. It's 283, not bad at all, but we're at $75 now. As I was telling you guys, accessories are a tad bit more expensive on Wish, which is why we have a spray bottle for 422. We're gonna add this into the cart. Well, Accessory is pretty expensive, but we do get it for 782. It's a blue one. Of course, it's only right if we get shears, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get both cutting and thinning shears. So I'm gonna be going with just the shears themselves, which is 280, not bad at all. All right, you guys, so I almost forgot, but we need hair clips, of course. We can't go without hair clips. We got $1.50 hair clips for two of them. Not too sure if that's even a nice little deal because I think for about $2, we did get about five on Timu. So our total for today is 99.41 for the Wish version of our barbecue kit today. Let's unbox every single one of these and actually see the performance quality and what they feel like in hand, then test it out on a model. All right, you guys, so we've got our Timu versus Wish. Let's go on with the Timu version first. Nice, everything is kind of like securely packed. This one feels like it's not. <laughs> this right here is a disappointment. I thought I was gonna get a full pack of Darko blades. I didn't get this. I got one single blade for 89 cents. I thought that was a steal for like a freaking whole pack of 100. Okay, so let's start off with the clipper itself. Let's open this up. Let's test it out in three, two, one. I know this is gonna be a banger. Fire this has to have more power than most of the clippers out there. So we got that USB-C down below, the beautiful taper blade, perfectly zero gap. If you get it, you will be absolutely pleased with your purchase. For $50, not bad at all. So we also get a USB-C stand. It's kind of like this metallic black. It looks pretty cool. We get the comb that I need. And we also get some MB guards. I'm just kidding, you don't get MB guards, but I placed them in there for now. This is a Halloween edition right here. We have limited sets on there, but I will put the black version on our damn okay so there you go it's really pretty okay so let's get on with the last final accessory that this clipper comes with which is this right here this weird looking vintage barber cape absolutely satisfied with that clipper i knew i was gonna be but let's go on to the trimmer itself okay so i feel like i need to unbox our trimmer now so 
We have a black and red one right up front right here. It is the silver one. Comes with a freaking guard on it too. I don't know why, but it feels good. It looks good. There's a little LED right here to indicate if it's on and off. Wow, I actually really, really like this. It's zero gap. Definitely a good little slimline alternative. I'm gonna keep it right next to this right here. Get three other guards, which is a total of four guards. Get a USB-C. Shaver neck. Kame actually never does this wrong. Kame is a very good Chinese manufacturing brand, I guess. I don't really know too much about the brand. Kame does a very good job of imitating clippers. If you haven't seen some of those fake clipper videos that we do all the time, Kame is probably the leading one within all the fake ones, but it has a trimmer in the back. So we can just slide up a trimmer right there. It's not going to be the best. Again, we got this for $11. I feel like I ordered way more accessories on this, and we only ended with four accessories. That's so weird, but we did spend a lot on the clipper trimmer and shaver here i only got four accessories and one being this single freaking darko blade that i got ripped off for so we're gonna or we're gonna open this real quick and it is definitely a fake darko blade why the hell bro why would you give me a fake darko blade especially if i paid a dollar for this this one is way smaller and i actually really like it it's so much slimmer than the one i've gotten before wow i want you guys to be very careful when you put in the blade but should put it in like so and then boom oh yep yeah, that's what I'm telling you guys to be careful. That looks perfect right there. It looks made very nicely, and uh, it also has gold accents. We got the barber clips. Hey, they feel good. We only bought these for $2, and they don't feel that cheap. I will say I've felt cheaper, but they don't feel like the best ones. Okay, so now we got a little water bottle, spray bottle. It's kind of dented. I don't know if you guys could see right there, but it's kind of dented. This feels pretty cool. It's actually very unique, and it feels just like a little cologne bottle. It's just plasticky. It's not the craziest quality, but it feels pretty good. Oh my God. This is laying here the entire time and it's part of the freaking kit. We got this right here, which is our blue shears. These feel nice, bro. I like this considering that this is the only blue item on there. These feel very good quality. Let's go on with the Wish version of the barber kit. We do get guards and we get our clipper this time. It is not a USB-C, team was USB-C. Okay, so this is our clipper for the Wish one. The blade itself has this little weird angle. Team one is straight flat and the blade on the Wish one is like some curved taper blade. The power feels good. It's not gonna be 10,000 RPMs, but it feels very good in hand. This is more of a plasticky feel. You do get a digital dash right here. Will these fit my Halloween guards? That's a good question. We were just talking about the blade, and they do. Perfect. So now we get spray bottle. Ah, damn it. Wait, what? I got a white one, and it came with this weird looking gray one, but it looks nice. Now it has this little tip right here, which I'm not too sure what that's for, but I guess it'll soak up everything. Next up, let's go with this right here. Boom, shears. These feel like the best freaking shears I've actually ever felt on any of these barber kits. These feel nice, bro. What the heck? Okay, so a blue cape. It smells good. And this time it has a black collar, not bad. All right, so we got the VGR trimmer right there. Let's open this up. Very nice packaging. It's probably the same charger for this and this right here. Now. Wow, this one looks nice. It has a gold button in the middle right there. Okay, so it's warning me it has a locking version. So if I hold it, it's gonna turn on and it, it feels powerful. Okay, I'm not too sure if you guys could see this, but this is so yellow. Like the casing is so yellow. Kind of disgusting. So we get this right here. This will dust off all of our hair off our model. Last but not least, I know what we got right here. We are missing our shaver, so of course, our shaver. A bunch of Chinese letters right there. Flash charging. Definitely not something you would put on the box. I wouldn't put that. Ultra long endurance. Oh my God, it has this whole LED at the bottom. Got blue LED right there. Everything you see in blue actually like lights up. It probably turns on when you're charging it too, so that's pretty cool. I love this. Okay, you guys, so that does it for our Timu and Wish Barber Kit. Now let's actually go try this out on a model. We're gonna be cutting with the Timu Barber Kit on the left side and on the right side, we are gonna be cutting with the Wish version of our barber kit. If you don't know what I mean, this is what we have in store right here. So this is our Timu kit on the left and the Wish one on the right right here. On the Wish barber kit, we can only afford two pieces of clips within our budget. So $100 literally gets you two clips. It had five on this side because we were able to buy more with our budget. So you see all this is parted out, boom, perfectly. And then this right here couldn't handle two clips. We needed one more. Okay, so now we have the trimmer comparison, Timu versus Wish right here. I'm gonna go with the Wish one first. It doesn't cut too much, so it doesn't feel so powerful. So we're gonna be stopping right here. Something I already noticed right off the bat is we didn't get a duster for the Timu versions, and we do have a duster for the Wish one, which helps so much. I guess I can't use a duster on the other side. Now that we got the trimmer step on the Wish done, that looks pretty clean. That's no shaver, no nothing, just the trimmer. Now what I have in hand is the Timu. Big slimline, it feels very good in hand. Oh my God, surprisingly it cuts better, okay. So 
Timu always comes in clutch. Does his deep walk guys good though? They were around the same kind of like price. So I will give it up to this right here. Timu definitely does it with the trimmer. I could honestly tell, look at that. Without even applying any pressure. Yeah, this is definitely better. Whoa, so this trimmer apparently made him bleed a bit. This is better for lineup. Who wins? I don't know. I truly will say that the wish one didn't cut. Now let's go on to the Clippers. For $100, we spent half of our budget on the $50 Clipper right here from Timu. Now we got a VGR. I think this was like $20 too or $30. So this is not as expensive as the other one. Let's test it out. Open up the lever and I'm just going to hit it right there. I don't know how many RPMs it has, but it's doing fairly good. For a Clipper that's $30, it feels like a very nice quality Clipper. Which one feels better in hand? Oh, this one? Yeah, that was the first guideline with our clipper right here. Okay, so what I will say about this one right here, since it's so powerful, every single movement matters. Every corner that you make, every single, it's not to detail at all. This is more like a stronger senior, I will say. And it's so powerful, you can't even like feel the vibration. It's just like going. Wish one kind of looks mm -hmm. a bit darker. Look at that. All right, so now I'm gonna close up the lever on this side, on the Wish version. There you go, there you go. Now let's do the same step with the Timu one. And oh my God. God, bro. That just cuts through like nothing, bro. Okay. Now enjoy a quick little montage of me using the Wish products on the right one and the Timo on the left. So now we completed the fade, you can check out the right side, which is the wish side. Pretty clean. And then the left side, I think this one just came out way cleaner. What I will say is, you can't really like tell how much you're cutting off of the Timu version of the clipper. So it's kind of like, oh, it's iffy. You kind of dig in there and like it takes off a little too much bulk than you, or just a little too much in general. So uh, you really gotta watch out with that clipper in general. But now let's test out the shavers. I know there's no comparison within this, but this is the Timu one and this is the Wish one right here. Let's go with the Wish one first. This kind of like pulled me into his scalp. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that looks nice. What the heck? Dude, guess how much this was though? Seven bucks. Seven dollars. Edgar, are you? Uh, five. That was like three dollars. Look at what you can do with three dollars, guys. The shaver from Wish definitely did its... This is supposed to be way better. It looks like an actual, actual shaver. And I did spend about $11 on this, so. Oh no, you can automatically tell. Guys, okay, one swipe. Look at that. Bam. All right, so last but not least, water bottle from Wish is meant for oil, so it's gonna spray out more. Keep that in mind. If you get the oil ones, it'll spray out more, which is way better. I am pretty sure the Timu one is not gonna outbeat that one, but see, check it out. It's not bad. It's Guys, that's been it for me. I'm Marty Blends, and God bless. Peace out.